the paint started falling off several years ago and uh, they said it was thermal shock and that we could patch it, keep patching it, and, but we'd probably chase it around all every, after every winter we'd be just chasing it around the tank. We didn't know what we were gonna do for sure after that. Jake stopped over here and he says that uh, we, could, we can repaint that thing. We gotta put a containment up and we could, we could finance it if, if you need it financed and uh, we'd work with you on that. We visited about it and I tell you, I, I, we didn't uh, have a lot of, whole lot of money in our water because we just put a mile and a half of water line in from our well to town. And uh, that pretty much chewed up all the reserves in our water. I wanted to do it. And uh, when the council signed that contract, I thought, well, this will be my last big, big project. We got good councils here that have always tried to keep up their infrastructure and and get the work done and and uh, just try to stay ahead of things. It's been kind of a struggle with the money, but they usually got things done. So just like this project here, Jake thought we could sandblast it and kind of just start all over. It had lead paint on it, and and uh, we knew we had to have a con containment. And these buildings are just so they're right there. The crew was real, it was really a good crew. And uh, we'd watch them climbing around on that thing with their ropes and it's just so much work. To, it's just all this labor that it took to get that thing put together. And so it was a good outfit that, that we had here. A water tower won't wear out. Uh, there's no moving parts in them actually. So if you just maintain it, It'll last forever, a new tower be a million dollars, and I'm not, I can't remember just what this cost, but uh, it was way under that. Everybody was pretty happy with it, the way it turned out, and they know that it should last for another 110 years. <laughs> it's withstood the test of time.